Now the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to look at a little loop or traversing the elements. And the purpose of this is that we want to print out all details. If you open uh, Stock Manager, as I did, and we go down here, we can see this method here is pretty empty. We can also see that the method actually is a void method, and that means we don't return anything. Now, inside here, I'm going to make a little loop, and this loop is called a for each loop, and it looks like this. Now, if you look at it, you can see the product is the name of the class of the object P, and then it says stock here, that means P is supposed to be inside stock. The only thing I want to do is I want to print out the data of P. So we choose print line sentence here dot and then there probably is a method for giving the data or returning the data of a product and there is a method and it's called to string like this and that is actually all there is in it let's try to compile and see if we have any mistakes oh we forgot the g into string and we forgot one more thing, always end the parameters. Let's try to compile it. Can't find the system, see we got, forgot it, T. Actually these uh, things are quite normal for everybody when you sit in Python. So, let's close it down. Take a stock manager here. Create the stock manager. Let's add a product. Uh, let's go here. Let's create a new product first. Then coffee. Let's try to create one more product. Fabulous enough, uh, this is number 20, and the screen name is just T, not very original. So now I got two products here and a stock manager. I go back to the stock manager and then I choose the method add product. And here I just give the name of product number one. And I try one more time to add product number two. And now I'm ready to see if my method print product details actually will print out the details of these two products. 